Okay, this is an update to the modifications I've done on my 2013 Sportster 72. Uh, in the videos before this, I told you about putting on new custom hand grips. Uh, I discovered that the uh, throttle grip was sticking. I had to take off some plastic inside there where it was at on the new throttle grip. Now it works fine. The Screaming Eagle exhaust. The more I ride it, the better it sounds. I've noticed I get a lot better throttle response. The engine runs a little cooler. It idles a little bit lower once it's warmed up. But I've lost a little miles per gallon. No big deal. They look and sound good. Now on these 11 inch progressive shocks. I'm a big guy and they really seem to have less spring in them than the stock ones had but they are two inches shorter dropping the back end down which is the look I wanted I've had to put them on the highest setting to keep them bottoming out which kind of stiffened up the ride a little bit but it's not any more than what the stock shocks were on the highest setting but I would say try the Burleys instead if you're going to lower your back end, see if they're better. Especially if you weigh 220 like I do. Now on the seat, the Mustang Day Tripper. It's fine for just running around town and getting back and forth to work, which is what I originally bought this bike for. And if you decide to go over, say, like around 100 miles a day or something, go on a long trip, it's not very comfortable. I'd get a better seat if you plan on riding for more than a tank full a day. And those are pretty much the, I guess you'd call complaints about uh, the items I put on. I think if I had to do it all over again, I would have got a seat with a little bit more padding. I would have tried the burly shocks. Uh, not much I could do about the Screaming Eagle pipes because I got to have those in order to keep my warranty valid. Though when the warranty wears out, I think I probably will swap out the exhaust for something else or maybe just pull some of the baffles out and cut them down. And the throttle grips. Maybe I could have spent a little bit more and bought a better quality. I don't know. These are fine. And that's pretty much it. Everything else I'm pretty happy with. Uh, foot pegs, the two inch gas tank lift, and of course all the extra chrome goodies I bought from Harley. So I'm going to go out for a ride now and see you all later. Hope you get some good information on the updates. You make wiser choices on fixing your bike.